everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be a colouring chat. Now, you might have noticed this is going up on a Monday when it's normally we have the weekly vlog. I haven't done one this week just simply because there's nothing to vlog. Because being back in lockdown, there's not a lot I can do. And I kept forgetting because there wasn't a lot to do. So I'm hoping that next week I'll have more to show you. Even though we're still in lockdown, I will do one next week. So today... I'm going to be colouring in this book fashion for 50s. I'm going to be using some my markers, Everblend. Um, we've got the Touch New. I've got some other markers that are just generic. And we're going to colour this colour, this picture. But we're obviously we're going to do the, not this one, but the actual one here. Um, so we're going to colour in this one. We'll start this one. Obviously we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it the same colours, although they'll, they'll probably be simple, sim similar in pastel shades because it's the 50s so we'll start with the skin i always start with the skin you might have noticed that and i always use barely beige because it's a nice color so let's crack on we'll start over here with this lady here so yes how are you all are you all very well oh i need to put something behind the pink and i am a bit dim today i'm not with it not at all hang on let me get some paper I've got some spare sheets of paper here. I've got a, a notepad here for something else. Oops, it worked. never mind. There we go. We'll just tuck that in there. So if you do one bit like that, it's a flash colour. It's not going to really hurt anything. It's only if you really go with the other ones. It is, you know, the dark colours. So, how are you all? Are you all okay? Have you been? Hope you're all well. I know I'm going to go over her hands anyway, so I don't know why I'm worrying about that. Um, we're well here. Everybody's fine. Jennifer's great. She's very, very well. She's sound asleep because it's night time. I'm always recording at night time. It's just easier. And uh, just cracking on. Paul's gone to bed as well. It's uh, late Sunday night, so... Obviously, we've all got work in the morning. Not that that matters to me. I'm always uh, up late. I just wake up in the evenings and I like being... Uh, I'm a night person, generally. And that's okay. So there's her, her face and hands. And then we've got her, the, her ankles down here where... Uh, you know, she's got socks on. And they would have worn white, white socks and this is actually quite, quite cool. What they're wearing. So I'm just doing their, oops, their ankles. There's another one there. Actually, it, it looks like she's got skin there as well. But she wouldn't have just had that there like that. That would have been a sock. They would have worn like bobby socks and you know small white socks. They wouldn't have been coloured. It was the fashion of the time. They were wearing the, what they call poodle skirts, which were home, generally homemade skirts. Obviously, you can buy them ready made, and you could then eventually. But generally, they were made at home, and that's they had an applique of uh, say a poodle on it. Or in this case, she's got a telephone, and she's got the Eiffel Tower. Or if you're in the UK, it might be the Black Tower. You never know. So. so I've been doing usual eBay add some sales. Got three going out tomorrow. I mean, it's great. One one Cindy item and two items of clothing. So that's good. It's all good. It's all it's all cash coming in. It's all money, and I enjoy doing it. So tomorrow I won't be filming. It will be an eBay photographing night. Uh, so I'll get as much as I can. So I've got some new stock coming in. So I will try and do as much as I can. Now she's got her arms here. To be honest with the poodle there wouldn't have been any detail on it really it would have just been a black poodle or a white poodle with um some black on it it wouldn't have been there wouldn't have been much distinction between it so 
but I thought we'd do this one. Um, I have had a request to do Cla um, Hannah Carlson's new book, so we will do one from there at some point. And she's got her hand on this lady's shoulder there. I do like the idea of it being a sock hop and there's music and yeah, I, like, I quite like it. So. I don't want the dance. For like a, I know they could be down the Glen. Done. So now I'm going to look at how they did the floor. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like. It. I think it's lovely. Like, I, I like this sort of style. I mean, I like anything fifties related. Anyway, as you know, I am a fifties girl. I am going to change the, the colours of the the skirts. Have they done them skirts? Have they done them as dresses? Because they would have been skirts. Yeah, they're skirts. Kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I'll get the black out and do some of the record parts at the back. I'm not gonna, mm, what shall I do? Because they could have had um, like a, a, a blue sweater and a black skirt or a yellow sweater and a red skirt, so um, I might do that. What's this colour yellow? Tuscan Sun. Oh, I love this colour. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at the various things. So, I'm going to do this one. Her, she's going to be yellow and red. So, wasp, they've all got waspy belts on. So lots more of the UK are ending up in lockdown. They've locked down another council area in Wales and they're looking at Newport, the next one. They're watching it very, very carefully. Um, the English government are talking about having what they call a circuit breaker, which is a two week national, which will be for England only, lockdown in October across the, um, the holidays. And the reason they would do it across the holidays is to, because um, they, as they say, their priority is to keep the schools open for as long as possible. Um, this way, if they shut down then, the schools will only be closed for one week and it won't be so bad on the kids missing their um, school work. You know, they'll still you'll still be able to get to school and stuff so that way they'll only be shut down for one week during the school holidays because there's a school holiday in the middle of October um, what they'll do in Wales who knows that's down to uh, Mark Drake for the Welsh Minister to do to decide because it's a devolved issue So, 
but it does look like it's not going to go away so this situation I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon it's just a question of how we deal with it and how we decide to move on with it so we're not looking now to be back in the office until well it looks like the next update's end of January so I don't mind it is cheaper in the long run because I'm not spending as much money on the car I'm not spending as much money on food out because I'm not going to my mum's every day and having um oh dear I started doing that one red now sorry I'm gonna do that one black anyway so it doesn't really matter she can have a red top see I'm really not with it today as you can tell I'm gonna do that skirt black anyway so it doesn't matter and I'll do red dark red telephone I am really not with it at all. It's terrible. I need to give it up, I think, and go back to bed. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, so we'll have to see what happens. I mean, I'm quite happy working from home. It's cheaper for me. I'm not wasting money on food out. And I would go, like, I'd go to my mum's, and what I'd do is I'd go to the post office. Depending on what day it was, I'd go to where I get some stock from, which is actually closed for the foreseeable future. I can't see it being open until New Year at the earliest. Um, and then I, I'd, I'd go to the post office, drop my parcels off. And then I'd go to Greg's and I'd probably spend a fiver. And this might be two or three times a week, mind. And then I'd go home and eat that with my mum's. And I mean, I'd have something myself and then I'd get a cake as well. And I'd get something for Jennifer, even though she did at nursery. This way, I mean, I had had something from Greg's on Saturday. So first time since lockdown, since before lockdown. And it was a sausage roll. And the only reason was, I know Jennifer loves their sausage rolls. And I thought she can have a sausage roll for lunch. As a treat. And I had one and Paul had pizza. And that's the only reason we went in there. And we bought a couple of drinks as well. Um... And had there been a big queue, I wouldn't have bothered. We went into spa to get some shopping and there was a big queue in Greg's. And I wouldn't go, wouldn't bother waiting for that. Even though it goes down quite quickly because of course it's only to keep the numbers, you know, social distancing and that. So it's not really a long queue. It's not like a long queue would be on a normal day. Like. Um, but when I we came out of spa, there was like one person in Greg's, maybe two. And I thought, right, okay. I said, I'm going to get a sausage roll for Jen, do you want one? And then he said, no, I'll have a pizza. And I was like, okay. So, but I wouldn't have bothered if it had been busy. And I don't really want to go back to wasting that, that money. It is a waste. I don't need it. We've got food in the house. So enough money at Lidl's on food every week. So I'm going to use that food up instead. And, um, yeah. Because it's just silly to to waste money and I know that's why Boris Johnson wants people to go back to the office so that they're supporting small coffee shops and places like Greg's uh, by going in there and buying their lunches but uh, I mean I gotta be honest when I worked all day I used to take my lunch with me it'd be very rare I'd buy anything I might buy something in our canteen because it was heavily subsidized so food was pretty cheap um, but it was very rare I went to Greg's the only time I ever went to Greg's is if we had we were, we were in on a Saturday and some people would go down and get it. And sometimes if we were in training on a weekend, they would treat us, the company would treat us to it. But um, I don't really want to. I don't really want to go to spend all that sort of money on, on uh, food. I'm thinking I'm going to go over this in pencil when I finish that and uh, do some pencil shading on bits of it as well give it a go so yeah it's just very weird this whole I think I mean I've spent a lot of money this month we got our nursery fees to pay they finally sent us an invoice eventually and that's fine quite happy with that but uh, yeah we need to to save as much as we can 
I haven't done Jennifer's pocket money this week. I put it straight into her bank now because I've got no change. So I'll do that tomorrow. She's too young to have pocket money to spend herself. So she gets a few treats from us and then she gets pocket money as well. She gets some she had a CBeebies magazine. She loves the stickers. She loves them. She loves stickers. So it's not good really. Spending money on food you don't need. You've got food in the house. It's convenient and we're all we're all guilty of it. We're all bloody lazy, aren't we? Let's be honest. Right, where's the top gun? There it is. Right, that's that skirt done for now. Do the black one now. Oh, gone really dopey. I'm not gonna be doing this for too long. We'll do a nice bit though. So we'll go over this red now where I put this red, we're gonna do give her a black skirt. And she probably would have had a paler colour, but they would have had. I like black, so she can have black anyway. Because she's a rebel. Everybody said that she wouldn't have worn a black skirt, so she had to have a black skirt because they actually made a mistake on it. So anyway, I could cover up the mistake, so. I like this book, it's all, all 50 stuff. Really cool. I saw it on somebody's channel. I think it was Grace's. I'm not sure. It was somebody's anyway. And I thought, oh, I have to have that book. So, of course, I bought it. And it's been sitting on my shelves for ages. And what I do at the end of the month, beginning of the new month, is I pull down a load of books I want to colour and try and colour them. But this one actually was pulled down for. What month have we been in September? August, and I never did it. So I've stayed down and I've actually done it now. So you can still see the red coming through, so we're gonna have to go over it again. It is black, it's not, I haven't even got black, that's why. I've got a dark grey. I wonder it's not working. God, I'm an idiot. Boy. <laughs> Should we try again? It looks quite nice actually, but we will go over it with black. That's better. Oh, that's it. That's the colour we want. See what I mean? I'm not with it tonight. But I've missed you guys and I've missed colouring and, you know, I like to to know what you, you guys are up to and this is... I ask you and then you leave me lovely comments down below saying what you've been up to and what you've been colouring and if you've got a, um, a colouring channel or an Instagram let me know your handle down below and I'll go find you and I will uh, follow you on Instagram or if you've got a colouring channel here on YouTube I will subscribe to it and watch your videos when I can because I do watch a lot of YouTube not just colouring I watch loads of different types of things so but I will follow you and I will watch some of your videos and leave comments. I don't always leave comments, so if don't worry, if, if I don't leave a comment, it doesn't mean say I haven't watched the video, it just means I haven't left a comment. But uh, I do try to. I mean, I've got to be honest, I follow so many people, it's impossible to keep up with everybody. But I do try. I'm going to do bits of the poodle black as well and I'll be using the black on other things later um, so yeah 
last night, which was Sunday, uh, Sunday night, not Sunday, so two nights ago, because it's Sunday night, I'm just not with it, um, on Saturday night I did a Grease quiz, Paul stayed up for part of it, but he doesn't really know the film, I, did, I only have 33rd or something like that, or 50th, um, I was just having more fun, and they had a greasy oaky in the middle, where you, you could uh, volunteer to sing, and they gave you extra points, and I sang, I sang, I did, I'm not ashamed to admit it, I actually sang, um, uh, there are worse things I could do and I sang it without any backing because the backing's delayed it's a delayed feed because it's the internet and it, it's like a second or so out so I thought I'm not singing with backing because it'll sound terrible so I'll, I'll sing while singing without the backing and it was so funny because they all um, were like singing like 30 seconds of, of it like, like a chorus or a verse uh, a verse and a chorus and there was me and I sang almost the whole song and then he said I have to stop you because we've got to cut on with the quiz but I don't want to uh, and they was, and everybody in the chat was saying oh wow she's the best fantastic brilliant wow amazing great voice and I was like oh god what have I done but it was really fun I really enjoyed it and then where's the host who was saying how he got it stuck in his head and he played it in the break the Stockard Chan inversion and at the end he said I had to put that on after hearing Andrea sing it but uh, because it was stuck in my head but I think she, Andrea sang it better <laughs> I was like wow <laughs> which is I was like oh my god this is quite amazing um it was it was amazing <laughs> yes I did I sang there are worse things I can do I, I'll admit I have actually been in a production of Greece it was a long long time ago um and uh I uh trying to think of it yeah I, I played Marty in the stage production of course the stage production is significantly different in the fact that uh, characters like Marty actually sang um songs she sang a song called Freddie My Love which is it is used in the the film but it's a back in I think it's in the background somewhere and uh she sings it in the in the actual play and I actually auditioned with uh, the worst things I could do I think I used that in my audition for drama school as well. I'm not sure. Can't remember. I think it was. But uh, I love that song. It's one of my favourite songs from Greece, if not my favourite song from Greece. I don't know why it's got two sticky up bits. It should only have one, right? I'm going to colour that in. I don't know what that is. Weird. It's better. Oh, I love it. This is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so there you go, that's my uh, little bit of what I got up to on the weekend. Singing live on the internet. No, I'm not going to sing it for you now. So you only sing a few, you only get, get out a few, like eight seconds before you hit copyright. So no, they don't want that. We don't want to risk everything like that. We don't want to ruin. Our uh, channel. I've had the sneak peek from the new colour in heaven because that's out at the end of the month, I think. Is it the 30th of September it comes out? Which Yeah, it would be Wednesday, the 30th of September. And I'm, I'm like, ooh, I like it. So who knows when it's going to come? It could come anytime from next Saturday onwards. Which would be great because I can't wait. It looks amazing. I mean, I mean, I'm, a, I'm still colouring in the Halloween one, so. So they've done a fairies compendium, but I'm not. I haven't ordered it because um, I've got a lot of the fairy books anyway. So I've probably got them all. Um, so I would want to look through it. I could go and have a look at the flip through. There's bound to be one somewhere, um, but uh, I haven't yet. Uh, I think I've got most of the fairies books. 
as I said, point now and again. If they did one, you know, a Halloween compendium or a witch's compendium, I probably would. I'm going to go with a pale aqua for the last skirt. So. Yeah, that's a nice colour. Yeah, so I would want to look at it first, but I, I, I'll, I'll find a flip through of it on YouTube and have a look. Um, I keep hoping to have it in my local shop. They do get the colour in Heaven In, but they haven't had the compendium. I think I don't think it might be order only. I'm not sure. Um, they have got the Colour in Heaven collection one in, which is Shaun the Sheep. Again, it's one I'm not bothered about this time. Uh, so what I will do is, when that comes out, if it's one I'm not sure of, I will just wait until it comes out and I'll have a look at it in the shop. I like Ardman animations, but they've already had an Ardman book this year. And I've got that, and there's enough pictures of the Shaun of Sheep in there for me to be going on with as it is, so that's why I haven't bothered. And I do like them, I don't know, maybe I'll pick it up down the shop next week, just see. So, where are we? Oh, we're going to be running out of time soon. It's going to click off, but that's okay. We can click it back on, can't we? <sighs> so it's all good fun. I can't believe how many colouring books I've got. I haven't counted them, but I know it's well over 200. I know it's over 200. Yeah, I did. It's probably near a three now. I just, I just love them. I love the different pictures. Every one I want, every one I buy, I, want, I do want to colour in. So it's like the next month's horror month, so I'll be pulling all the horror books out. And I, I know I've got a couple I haven't coloured in, like this Chibi Girls Horror. I haven't coloured in that yet. So that'll be coming out. We'll be definitely colouring in that next month. And then, of course, I've got the second Beauty of Horror book. Um, no, I've got the first one. I've got the second one. I coloured in that last year. I've got the first one. I might order one of those at the beginning of the month. When, well, when I get paid. Order another one of his books. I love those books. Um, I've got a Deborah Muller one come in. i got another Halloween book. Yeah, I have got several. I mean, last year I did a, um, a show-off of all my colouring books that were Halloween and then again at Christmas. So um, so anything that's related to Halloween, so that includes things like Sugar Skulls, Day of the Dead, um, the horror books. Do you want to see see them again? Do you want me to do a, at the beginning of, or well, the end of this month, a complete um, Halloween colouring book collection with all the, the new stuff as well? So I can do that if you if you're interested. You want to see what I might be colouring in for Halloween? I know there's a few pictures I'm definitely going to be colouring for Halloween, um, but I don't know all of them. So if you if you want to see my collection of horror stroke Halloween colouring books, let me know. It's not going to be you know I might be buying more over the course of October. So like I said, I might get another one of the Alan Roberts books there's quite a few of them I haven't got. I'll get the horror Christmas one for Christmas. Um, so there's a Deborah Muller one I've got on order so that'll be coming before the end of the month anyway. I've got another Halloween one up there as well. Do you want to see that because I'll be pulling them all out anyway for colouring in. I will still be colouring in my pattern books because they I like to do them in the quiz. When we're quizzing, I um, I get the I get a pattern book out 
and I I colour in between the questions and the rounds. Okay, so that stopped. So I don't know where I was, but I'm going to do her there. Um, this girl's uh, top in cherry blossom. So yeah, let me know. I'm going to have. I will be putting out all my Halloween books anyway shortly, for me to um, decide what pictures I want to colour. So if you want to see a complete uh, selection of all the Halloween stroke horror books, I can do that. Um, like I said, it will change because there probably will be more that I get and I said I can order an Alan Roberts one when I get paid. Um, and I will be, because uh, I do like my Halloween books, I mean there isn't really going to be much of a Halloween this year is it? so I'm going to have a good colour. But like I said, I do, I will still be doing patterns because I do them when we're quizzing in between the quizzes. Oh, I've missed a hand there. I'm going to do that in a minute. Yeah, I um, do like to do the uh, patterns in between questions and on the quizzes and on the breaks. Uh, just something to do. But I can't. I don't really like to come out of the quiz app because sometimes it can be hard to get back into. I, I came out of it yesterday to uh, ha have a look at. And um, oh, it's her skin. That's weird. I wasn't expecting that to be skin. And I could, it took me a while to get back in. I thought, we're going to miss the game. But I managed to get back in, which was all right. Apparently, that's part of her neck as well. I didn't think it was, but there you go. And this is, she's wearing a low cut top. You trollop. I don't mean that. She's not really. So I wasn't expecting it to be low cut like that. And I said, yeah, it does look like it's a different colour, but it's not. It's just that that's dry and the other's not. That's that bit done now. We'll have a light green for her top, I think. Hmm. Pale green. And she's got a shirt underneath hers. So is she is it a shirt she's wearing or well, it is a shirt, it's just it's just the way it's been done. Looks a bit odd. Let's have a pale green. So yeah. I can, I, like I said, I can pull all my horror ones and we can have a look at all the horror ones we've got. Um, so be all the horror autumn ones, Halloween ones, uh, oh, scary ones. Um, and I will decide uh, what I'm going to cut. Like, so for instance, I know what I want to cut in Alan Roberts' book. And that's a big detailed two-page one. With the heads on the... Uh, and I might do with the watercolours because the watercolours go down really well in those books. Um, I've, I've used them before and I thought they were really good. Down. And here's the more you colour it, you can see where there's a bit more skin. And we'll be finishing soon because I want to get to bed.
got work tomorrow, but uh... okay. They look really good, don't they? I like these ladies. So we'll have a blonde, a brunette, and a, a, a you know a redhead. I think. Let's have a look through the colours to the side. Quite like sunflower yellow for the blonde. It's a dark blonde. Sunflower. That's that one. So we'll have this lady here. Lovely. It's very, it looks very dark. But it's a gorgeous colour when it dries. I might get the neon ones out for the sock hop sign. We have some glitter there for the stars. I'll just see what I'm doing with the background after I finish the ladies. But I do love this picture. Very my era. There we go. Yeah, there's a bit of skin I've missed on there as well that I need to finish off. I love these decades books. I've got 40s, I've got 50s, I've got 80s. I haven't got 60s, I haven't got 70s. I've got a got a 20s one as well I think somewhere and I've got a 30s one Lola's Ladies I'll put that in as part of her hair as well so it looks weird if it's just white so there's our blonde let's just finish her skin yeah, 29 barely beige it's just here that's it. Okay. Now I want a red head or brown. How about the brown one? We will have Sienna Brown. If I might know. This Sienna Brown. And that will be this lovely lady in the middle. We'll continue this on camera another time when I finish this bit. I'm going to finish their hair first and then by the time I finish the third girl's hair it will be 40 minutes which I think is plenty long enough. And she's got ties in her hair so we'll leave those. She looks shocked. So she's whispering something in her ear and she's trying to hear it and she's like, I can't believe what she just said. The troll, I mean, no. It really looks like they're having a good gossip at the sock hop and they're whispering stuff to each other and she's whispering to her and she's like, really? She's trying to listen.
I don't believe I just heard that come from her lips. I can't believe she said it. This is wine red, so it's a very dark red. Quite funny actually looking at these people thinking they're not real and There we go. Oh, I love it. I'm really enjoying this picture. So, let's have a look. Alright, we're going to give them some lips now. So she is going to have ruby red. Ooh, it's going everywhere. She's not been very careful with her lipstick, look. And then we'll have... Um, Oh dear, oh dear me, who can have a pink one? Uh, I think we will use that colour now. So I'm going to have that colour. And... She needs a lip colour really. Maybe rose. It's cherry with rose. Crimson raspberry. Oh, she should be able to uh, punch. Rose. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear me. It's a nice red as well. Okay, I'm going to call it a night. We've been going about 43 minutes or so. We've done a nice bit of the picture and we'll come back and do some more of it in the next video. Um, the next current chat. So there we go. We've done the ladies' dresses, faces, skin, uh, hair and lips. We've just got um, their feet to do and their appliques and scarves and belts. That won't take too long. And then we'll be pretty much on to the background. And then obviously I'll go over certain bits of it with some pencils as well. I might do a bit of that on camera. So let me know if you'd like to see that. I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chat and a quick catch up. Um, if you have, give this uh, video a good like. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, leave, me a nice, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're colouring. And let me know if you want to see my horror book collection. So we can uh, colour horror stuff together in October. I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.